My name's Greg Poljasic, stuntman scientist. We're going to be talking about practical stage effects. Blood, guts, gore, things you can make at home with ingredients you can buy at any grocery store. These effects are perfect for your cosplay, zombie movie, vampire movie, or any theatrical production that needs special effects. So let's go inside and let's talk about how to make oobleck. Oobleck is a non-Newtonian fluid. That sounds like a fancy word. It is a fancy word, but basically it means it doesn't do what water normally does. What does water normally do? Stays in the vessel that it's in. Stays in the vessel that it's in. That sounds super intelligent too. Stays in the vessel that it's normally in. What do you think water normally does? It gets me wet. Gets you wet. Absolutely it does. This will get you wet. It'll stay in the vessel it's normally in, but typically when you hit water, what does it do? Splashes. 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 It goes everywhere, right? It stays a liquid. Now, oobleck, when you hit it, temporarily becomes a solid. And that's what they mean by non-Newtonian fluid. That is not what it's supposed to do. It's supposed to splash everywhere. But it's because of the way the molecules are moving over each other. And when you hit it, they compress on each other and temporarily turn into a solid state. And they go back to being a liquid. Sounds pretty cool, right? It's only done with cornstarch and water. Now, we get to use it for our devious pleasures for gore effects by making guts and veins and gore because we take advantage of that solid state and by pulling it. So this is super simple to make. You're going to take one cup of cornstarch and you're going to put it in one and a half cups of water. Okay? So you pour one and a half cups of water. You pour one cup of cornstarch. Put this over the bowl. Good. So that way if as you're pouring it over the bowl that way it extra falls into it, okay? So this is a dry measuring cup, this is a liquid measuring cup, and they just have slight differences. Even though you have ounces that are similarly the same, they aren't the same as far as weight in liquid, just different ways to measure it. Okay, that looks good to me. That's like about a cup. Okay, now pop that in the bowl. All right, nicely done. So your job is going to be to stir, your job is gonna be to pour water in, pour it in slowly, and pour about a cup in. The same as with anything that you make, pour in a little bit at a time because if you pour in too much, then you have to go back. And this one you can go back. If you pour in too much water, you just add a little bit more cornstarch to get it to the right consistency that we want it. So you're going to pour it in, you're going to move it around. And do you feel how it kind of sticks in some places? Yeah, that's where it's already starting to work. We just want to get everything to have that kind of sticky motion, okay? Good. Why don't you stop right there and we'll let them catch up with some of the water. All right, so yeah, we can see, you can even see on the camera how the spoon is having trouble to move through the bottom. <laughs> and then once we get it and mixed up, some of that splash will go away. So right now, it's still very much a Newtonian fluid. It's still water and liquid and splashing. So we're going to mix it up a little bit, and then we're going to see if we can get that to go away if we put in the right amount right off the bat. That's the fun part with this. This part is, it's a little bit of measuring, but it's a lot of feeling this one out. Oobleck is takes a feel, and it doesn't always obey the measurements right on. That's why we keep the extra cornstarch here so we can pour a little bit in to make it a little more solid. All right, so let's see where we're at here. This is another one where we test it where we can put our fingers in to see. Like, okay, where are we at? That's still very liquid. Yeah, yeah. see? Yeah. Exactly, so it's fully absorbed. So, what we're going to want to do is pour a little bit more cornstarch into that right there. So, pour more cornstarch into this. I'll hold it over the bowl for you. Yeah, and you stand by on that water because we might have a little bit more in. We might need a little bit more water in it. But this is it. Once you get the right consistency, you have your oobleck. So we're going to start here, and we'll pour in maybe half of this to see how well that absorbs. And that's basically your process, is a little bit of trial and error. But this is a beautiful thing that it highlights about science and research, and when you're using science to make things. Science is not a perfect process. You're going to fail at some things. You're going to have things where it messes up, and what you do is you keep going on. You build on that, and that's the whole history of science and experiments. That's what they're designed for. They're not designed to find the answer right away. They're designed to say, where is the answer? What can we learn from this process? And what we learned from this process is that we had too much water. So we add a little bit more, and we find our experiment to make it right. So we're getting closer. Good. I think we're just going to add even more. So we pour a little bit more in there. So now we're about two full cups, because we hadn't filled these up all the way. So we're about two and a quarter cups. So we poured in like a cup and three quarters. Yeah, now watch that move. There we go. Now we're getting the consistency we want. That's what we're looking for, is that it's a lot tougher. It's a lot tougher to go through, and now we're seeing it really goop to each other, and stick and roll. So you can find a lot of videos where they put this on a speaker, and they have bass that makes it dance around and makes these little monsters, right? 
That's it. Now we got it. There we go. See? Now I want you to take it and slap it. Earlier you got a splash. We saw a visual splash and I'm glad we saw that. Splashed on his arm. Now we don't get any splash. Right? The water's supposed to splash and go everywhere. So take your best shot, punch in, and see if you can get that to splash. All right? You guys take it. Yeah, there we go. Smack into it. Nice. No splash. And now we have our oobleck, our non-Newtonian fluid. It's not supposed to do that. It's liquid. Look how it moves around in the bowl. Nice and easy and dripping. Then as soon as you hit it, it becomes a solid briefly and then goes back to liquid. Now, let me see. We'll show you what we want to use for the organs, right? If it's just dripping, it's kind of a drip. But if we grab it and stretch it, now we have stringy stuff that's coming out, right? So that's what we can do to make it look like veins that are being torn out or skin that's being torn out. This can be really gross to peel off of. So that's a really quick, easy, messy, fun way to produce gore at home.